What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another really, really special episode of Hunnigan Autofocus. Every episode is special, um, but we're here in Atlanta, Georgia with Randy. Hi, Randy. What's up guys? He uh, has quite the Datsun collection, but um, we'll talk about this later. We'll, we'll do a whole <laughs> kind of video, I guess a video walk around, but uh, I actually wanted to talk about this Safari car first. Sure. First of all, how did you get into Datsuns in the first place? Well, we better get a sofa and some chairs because we <laughs> may be here for a couple of hours. He's a pilot and lives in Japan. He had his silver 432 there. And I was sitting there looking at his 432 and all of a sudden this car drove up. And I was like, what? there's no 432. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, so I walked over to the guy that owned the car and built the car, his name's Jim Feria. And he was living in California at the time. And it's VIN number 3227. It's, a re it's an early car. Uh -huh. um, and it was Safari Gold when it started, which oddly enough, Safari Gold, and Safari car. Um, but anyway, I walked up to, uh, to Jim and introduced myself. We started talking and I said, hey, would you be interested in, in selling this? Because it's a live model of the model I have. And he goes, yeah, he said, I, I, I may be interested. So we kind of talked about a number and he was pretty cool with it. And then his, uh, his wife and daughter show up the next day. And he walks up to me the next morning. He goes, Randy, I, I'm not going to be able to do the deal on the car. And I said, oh, why? He goes, my, my daughter had a fit. She said it was going to be her car. We want to do rallies and all. And I was, I was disappointed at the time. But fast forward last year, um, apparently he didn't have my phone number. He did have my email, but didn't know he had it. And he thought it was time to sell the car. So he put it on Bring a Trailer. And I, and I had his number. So I called him. I said, Jim, you're selling my car. He goes, dude, I've been trying to get in touch with you. He said, I didn't know how to get in touch with you. And I said, I said, oh, well, so I had, I had to buy it off, bring a trailer. But he did a great job. He, he actually had a model builder that was building small models. And Jim goes, well, you build small models. How'd you like to build a life-size one? And the guy went, what do you mean? And he showed him the model of this car. He said, you want, I want to build, I want to turn my car, my Series 1, early uh, Series 1 uh, Butterscotch, people call it a Butterscotch, a Safari Gold car, into this East African Safari car. And thus he did it. Now, Rob has since then, he sent me these carburetors. So we went to Triple McCoonies, which is what they used in the real car. The real car, however, was a right hand drive car. Mm, yeah. And, but a lot of, you know, they used the stock suspension, which I'm amazed at. Rob is another thing, Rob's gonna do the car. He's gonna do the exact uh, exhaust. Dan Pass, uh, who just moved back here uh, with Nissan from Japan, he had a guy go to Zama the other day and measure the OD and the angle cuts on the exhaust. So I'm a pretty much OCD when it comes to this. I want it done right. It came in fifth. I mean, these guys were wheeling these things. And, you know, it's 3,800 miles. 3,800 miles through all kinds of... That is so incredible. I mean, I've got footage and they literally, there was giraffes running by. There was, I mean, it was about 1971. Point lead. But to think about what these cars did, and that car sits in Zama. So Jim built this car and did an incredible job. I'm taking it to the next level. It's going to Z Car Garage today. Um, it does have a five speed, which is what they ran at uh, East African Safari. <laughs>
took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. Then we took a hard left in East Africa. A right at Baja. A 180 in the empty quarter. And that 65 degree incline at Hell's Revenge. A few million miles later, and voila. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. Norway, and she said it a certain way, and actually she was like, it's... Oh, that looks definitely good. 